Remember when I said I'd get a couple of quiet ones at the Dargo Hotel? Time to meet up with Hawley again, who's the publican of this iconic hotel. Matty jumps on the UHF and says, what do you love about going back to, to uh, Dargo? And I said, it's like going home, mate. And it is, I've been here this that many times that you come in and it's the same faces, it's the same experience. It's just always good to come back to the pub and catch up with you guys. And over the years, we started, you know, we probably caught up as uh, working with, come up here filming and we've ended up bloody mates, Hawley. That's right. You've been through a bit. You grew up here, didn't you? Well, I lived here for the first four years of my life and then we shifted away with my family, obviously, because I couldn't stay by myself at that age. No. And we ended up heading over to... Um... You're in trouble if you leave your four-year-olds at home. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> then we ended up over at Bucken. Um, lived there till I was 15, then we went out and started exploring my life and ended up back at back in where I was sort of started. It, that happens a lot in times with in people of these country towns, you always end up back in the same roots. So if the people want to come up here and explore the high country, get your local knowledge, all that stuff, what do you got here for them when they turn up? So come and stay here first, what do you got facilities? Oh, come and stay here, we've got a, a, a wide range of um, accommodation across the road with a couple of houses that have um, got beds in them for, for, group, for groups, four wheel drive groups, where there's a fair few of them. Um, down to our motel rooms, you know, singles, doubles, family rooms. Um, log cabins, our beautiful famous log cabins, which we built ourselves back in 96, 97. Um, they're quite comfortable. Air conditioned, heaters in them, you know, they're very comfortable. And then we've got a, a great campground at the back of the hotel. Um, there's usually always 24 seven portable toilets and portable showers as well. So you don't feel you have to hop into the, into the river and bath or bathe or anything. And um, yeah, small fee, 10 bucks a head just for the use of the toilets and showers while they're camping here. But you painting a big word picture there, Lloyd. You, you've been practicing, haven't you? I have, because I knew you were coming. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought this might happen, I've been prepared. <laughs> Mate, if anyone at home wants to get in touch with you, book in, get everything sorted yep. accommodation wise before they come up, yep. where can they go and do it? Look, online, um, there's a couple of, on our main web page, there's, um, directions, um, sort of what we've got in to offer. Um, there's prices on there. There's a hard line, the phone, but most a lot of time we're that busy here, we don't have time to answer the phone. There's an answering service here after hours as well, which um, our staff will answer the, and follow up, do follow up calls. Um, we're pretty busy all the time. Um, so yeah, the website, our webpage is probably the, one of the best to get started and then have a look at what we offer. That's all there and then um, start making some calls. There you, you go. Get onto some staff and start making some arrangements, yeah. Get it going, get up here, check it out. It's a part of God's country up here.